Hey YouTube! This is Matt here with Maple Mountain Fireplace. Today we're going to cook some pizza in our wood-fired oven. We're going to do some delicious handcrafted pizza and show you how we do it. One thing we want to do is sanitize our equipment. This is a brand new pizza peel. I'm just heating it up to sanitize it. Now, after you light the fire, we're going to prep it and get ready. We're going to move the coals back and we're going to brush it out and get it ready to slide a pizza in. So now that we've got it all brushed out nice and clean, we're going to just check the temperature to make sure we're in a good range. 650 is an ideal range. All right, so we're gonna prep our pizza dough. I use plenty of flour so that it will peel nice and easy. So this is some homemade dough that I made and we'll post the recipe. It actually turned out really good. It's got a nice, chewy, crispy crust. Exactly what you want in a wood-fired pizza. So we're just gonna press it. I'm not tossing it. <laughs> we're gonna roll it out nice and thin, keeping plenty of flour so that we can peel it nice and easy. So here's all the ingredients that I like. We've got pepperoni, we've got some mushrooms, onions, a little extra parmesan. I've got fresh oregano from my garden. We've got some garlic seasoning, good stuff. Here's our sauce. We're gonna spread that out. Now to get it nice and thick, I added some tomato paste to my favorite pasta sauce. So kind of a 50-50 and you get your sauce nice and thick. You can make it however you like, but this this I found gives it that extra tangy flavor that I like and it goes where you put it. It sticks right on there and it doesn't move around and that's good for the pizza peel as well. So be careful not to get the sauce all over because it will get under the peel and then your crust could stick to the sauce and kind of mess up your pizza peel. Add a nice layer of cheese. This is about a quarter pound of cheese. Add your favorite toppings. Again, I like the pepperoni, mushrooms. I've got the herbs that are really good, the oregano and garlic seasoning. I also do some crushed black pepper which I really like. And here we go, we're gonna peel it. Slide it under there nice and easy. You've gotta be able to slide it. You want the plenty of flour like I said, but also you're kinda shaking it a little bit and once you get under it, you can slide it really quick. Almost like pulling a tablecloth off and the dishes stay on. You gotta be quick. So once we set the pizza in the oven, we're gonna wait about maybe 90 seconds or so, and then we're gonna rotate it. So you can see I kinda get on one edge and move it to the right. You can go right to left, left to right, that doesn't matter. It's just getting your pizza peel technique. It's a fine art of rotating a pizza. So here's our first one. Depending on how you like the crust, I like it a little crispy, not burnt looks perfect and before you cut it you probably want to let it sit for a few minutes to cool a little bit that opening picture where I was taking a bite I actually burned the roof of my mouth <laughs> so cooking in your oven you want to maintain the heat in order to do that you're gonna add wood to the fire to keep it going and depending on how many people you're cooking for if this is an all day thing or if it's just a couple hour meal, you wanna maintain the temperature of the oven. So the best way to do that is to get a really hot fire at the beginning, let the temperature come down, and then small logs will continue to maintain that heat for you. So that's our video for making pizza in our brick and flame wood fired oven. And if you'd like more information, you can go to our website, brickandflame.com, 
And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. We're going to be doing more cooking videos. Making delicious food in a wood-fired oven is the way to go. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time.